What's going on guys? Matt Wasik here, CEO, founder of Landscape Marketing Pros. Welcome back to the channel and let's just get right into it. Today's lesson is something that you really need to make sure you take in consideration when you are working with people that are wealthier or wealthier, whatever it is that you determine, where someone has more abundance in financial success than you may have. What sparked the idea for this video was someone had commented on one of the other videos here on the channel. It's called How to Bid Lawn Care in 10 Minutes or Less. I will link to it here on the screen or down below in the description. But let's actually hop right into my computer right now and I'll show you this comment that this person had left because the things that they said speaks a lot about their character and how they run their business. This is not how you want to be viewing people who are in a higher financial state, especially with someone, especially when you are trying to sell services to them, because this is not going to get you, because this type of mindset is not going to get you very, very far. So we're in my computer now, and here is the comment. This person is probably just a troll. I have no idea. They don't even have a name. There is a lot of feedback here on the channel. Most of it's really good. Some of it's just straight troll. I always have fun battling trolls because it's funny. A lot of times they are so insignificant that it's just laughable. But this person said something that I feel like deserves somewhat of a good response. Basically what they said was, why not measure the whole lot with the house? As a, That way if the lot is small with a big house, he can afford the higher cost. Just let that sink in for just a second. The small lot with a big house, he's automatically assuming this person can afford the higher cost. Now, this is not about whether or not someone can afford it or not. That is the stupidest thing I've heard in my entire life when it comes to running a business. Does Best Buy charge someone $1,000 extra for a computer because they know that that person's wealthy or whatever it is, or because they know that they make a million dollars a year or something of the like? No, that is not how you run a business. That is not, that is so actually unethical and just, despicable in my opinion and i'm not going to be some old pre the one percent or anti one percent any of that shit my entire goal business is to grow and scale and become wealthy in the process but you don't become wealthy without providing a lot of value for the people that are following your business and the customers of your business it really comes down to that so i'm not going to sugarcoat it i want to get really really freaking rich that's just the goal and if you don't like it then this channel is probably not for you if you do want to get rich and you want and you do want to grow your business then stick around and go down below and also subscribe because there's a lot of cool videos like this here on the channel and continuing on with this content Comment. If it's a big lot with a small house, you're not outpricing people who cannot afford it. Both lots are priced the same no matter what size house they live in. What? Both lots are priced the same. So this is more turf. The property with the smaller house has more turf, but we're going to charge them the same, even though it probably takes, a, takes more time to cut or aerate or fertilize or spray a lawn that has an acre of turf versus the one that has half an acre of turf, but there's a bigger house so they can afford it and the price the same. This is so, ugh, I can't even, I cannot even comprehend the thought process behind this. I mean, this is, this could be a troll. I have no idea if this person's watching I would just laugh, but here's basically my response. The, this is exactly what's needed to be said. The price of your services should never be based on how wealthy the client may or not be. For example, Best Buy. If a guy walks in who's worth $100 million wants to buy a computer for $1,000, do you think they're going to change the price because they know that the guy's worth $100 million? No, that's not how you run a business. Because this is incredibly biased and ignorant. Nine times out of ten, unless a prospect was a super hot referral, meaning, meaning that they were probably recommended to your company from their friends or their family, they were going to get multiple bids and then they're going to throw out the one that's priced 50 or 40 or 60, whatever percent higher that this person thinks they should just tack on essentially as opposed to what it really costs to provide the service for the person. Because if you did not know by now, pricing your services comes down to literally just time, energy and resources it takes to fulfill the service and make sure that you have enough ample profit to make. So that way your fixed and direct costs are all met and you have applied the profit to it and then boom, you're making money and that's how it is. If a lawn that is small but there's a 10,000 square foot house on it it only takes you a half hour to mow it, you charge what it takes to mow for a half hour. If another property has a house that is 2,000 square feet, but it has an acre of turf that takes you two hours to mow it, unless you're doing something more complicated when it comes to your marketing with doing a loss leader at a super low discount in order to then upsell into higher margin services, but that's another topic for another discussion. This person is clearly not even thinking at that rate. They are, they are still at the very base level of thinking, oh, this guy's rich, so let's make more money off of him. It's a similar mindset to the people saying, oh, 
owe tax the one percent and this and that because they are basically frankly jealous because they're the ones that don't want to have to put in the work and produce something of value and then distribute that that thing of value to hundreds or thousands or millions of people in order to be able to put themselves into a financial spot to buy that multi-million dollar house or whatever it is and so with the rest of my comment there are other variables with this but judging your pricing by books cover is just plain unethical so i know i've used the best buy example a few times in this video but let's let's do something that's a little bit more apples to apples and i'll keep this as short as i can but basically let's say there are two landscape companies working in the same city one is at one hundred fifty thousand dollars in revenue the other one's at 1.5 million dollars in revenue they both reach out to landscape marketing pros my company of course going to plug it but basically they reach out to us and say that okay we want to show up for these search results and they're the exact same same cities same services they each want quotes on it and being as i know the revenue figures for this business because we ask that on every single application so that way we have an accurate picture of the size of your business and where you want to go do you think the pricing is going to be different just because the one company brings in 1.5 million the other one's doing only hundred fifty thousand dollars in revenue absolutely not because it takes the same amount of time, energy, and resources on our end, provided that everything else is, is good. There are a lot of other variables that go into it, but this is hypothetical. It's the same amount of time, energy, and resources to get their site to show up in the spots that they want to show up, regardless of what the financial status is of the business. The only thing that really matters is that they're able to pay for the services and that they are happy with these services. Now, don't get me wrong, when it comes to certain clients, especially that have a larger home or a very nice lawn, they wanna keep it very well manicured, they may be a little bit more particular. So that's why you ask qualifying questions when you are talking with your clients to see, hey, what types of things do you really wanna have in your lawn? You want the stripes to be razor sharp straight, you want super dark green, which that means a lot more fertilizer or whatever it is, whatever it is that they want, you need to make sure that you have that and that you account for that when it comes to their services. But to just straight up take a satellite imagery like here in the video and say, oh, this person's house is bigger so they can afford to pay more for a service. No, that is just unethical. That is that is just stupid. See how far that gets you in business. I can almost guarantee that is going to hurt you along the road because like I said here in the comment, it should be based on raw numbers that it takes to run a profitable business. How many man hours and equipment hours that will be at the property plus recovering your overhead and all those types of things and then you apply your profit. That is it. This mindset is similar to the lazy bottom feeders who think that the 1% should pay for everything because they can afford it. Never mind the fact of how much value one has to create in order to be able to reach a net worth or an income level in order to be able to afford a million dollar home. And then of course I had to thank the guy at the end because I was this created some good content for the channel. So anyways, if you're judging a book by its cover when it comes to financial status and think you should price someone's house higher when it's straight up apples to oranges when it comes to the service and they don't have any special requests, you're going to be dead in the water. But you need to also realize that you always need to be agreeing with your customers never be the guy that's trying to be right and get in an argument with your customers you're not going to win any more business by doing that anyways if you like this kind of content be sure to go down below smash that subscribe button hit the bell for notifications so that way you know when the newest content's upload here to the channel come on here learn some cool stuff grow your business learn how to sell better and all that type of good stuff so my name is Matt Wasik CEO founder of Landscape Marketing Pros and thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one you're never gonna make it, you're not good enough There's a million other people with the same stuff You really think you're different, and you must be kidding Think you're gonna hit it, but you just don't get it It's impossible, it's not probable, you're irresponsible Too many obstacles, you gotta stop it, yo You gotta take it slow, you can't be a pro Don't waste your time no more Who the fuck are you to tell me what to do? I don't give a damn if you say you disapprove I'm gonna make my move, I'm gonna make it soon